Hello everybody and welcome back to Alaris Labs YouTube channel. As you may know, the new version 3.5.10 has been released, and here we are going to list the most important features and changes. As not all features and corrections will be discussed in this video, you're welcome to check the full list of changes in the release notes. You can find the link to the release notes under this video. Support of the time token has been added to the client message ID. When present in the button, the token is replaced by time as of the moment of generation of the client message ID. The time is specified in UTS correct to the microsecond in the following format. The web interface now allows controlling the list of channels that are used for sending all segments of an SMS through a single vendor. The parameter Enable System-wide Stateful Concatenated Messages Processing has been added to Administration System Settings SMS. When set to 1, all client channels are used to send SMS segments through a single vendor. To create a custom list of channels, the parameter Stateful Concatenated Messages Processing has been added to Carriers SMS Channels. It is available only when partner direction is Client. This means you can choose the necessary list of channels and activate the new option for each of them, as you can see on the screen. The condition field has been added to Voice, Routing, Routing rules. It allows configuring complex conditions for selection of the rule. Only client metrics can be used, as the field is checked before the rule is applied. If the condition in the field is resolved as false, the system proceeds to the next rule. Web Center users can now change links used to send ML messages. The new section ML callback has been added to the account settings page. It serves to set the ML push URL template, which can also be configured in the ML push URL template field in carriers SMS channels of the main system interface. Several URL links can be added if multiple SMS channels are associated with a carrier, each having a separate link. However, if the user changes the format through the Web Center interface, all channels will get the same link. Additionally, the new methods have been added that can also be used to configure and view the field. The Reference Books text section now allows configuring V number tags. For this purpose, the direction field has been added with possible values A number and V number. V number tags can be used in creating routing rules and blacklists. You can also use the source tags and destination tags field to do that. Using both numbers and routing rules, it is possible to filter traffic by a specific A and B number combination. If the call of the message was rejected due to this configuration, you will be able to see this information in the simulation log. The vendor rate field has been added to SMS routing routing rules. It is displayed in the list of static choices in the Edit panel if the MCCM and C list value is inclusive. When the field is not empty, it indicates that the vendor product contains a rate. If it contains several rates, the field will show the highest one. It is now possible to delete several records from the blacklist at a time. The country field has been added to Carriers – Carriers. It can be selected from the drop-down list. It is filled in automatically for users that selected the country when registering in Alaris Web Center. The new group of permissions SMS simulation interface has been added to Carriers – Users. It contains the roles SMS simulation and SMS test send. When disabled, the user cannot access the sections SMS simulation and send SMS respectively. All registered users will get the corresponding permissions after updating to the new version. Alaris Web Center users having the permission Partner Portal User Administration can now reset passwords for other users of the same carrier. For this purpose, the Password Reset button has been added to the administration page next to the user record, as you can see on the screen. When the Send Rate Update to Client checkbox is selected in the Apply Generated Rates dialog, in SMS Rates Rate Compilation, an expert task is created and the rate sheet is sent to the partner carrier with the expert type, changes pending at and the start date equal to the earliest of the dates set in the field's start dates and increase dates of the Apply Generated Rates dialog. 
The voice active calls section can now display calls processed by the Sensei soft switch. To enable this functionality, perform the following configurations in Voice, Reference Books, Soft Switch Editor. In the Software Manufacturer field, select Sensei. Select the checkbox Use in Active Calls. Configure the other parameters as appropriate. After the changes are saved, the system will connect to the switch and you will be able to see all active calls in the corresponding interface. Additionally, the filters for the soft switch manufacturer and use in active calls columns have been added in the soft switch editor table. The new parameter Apply New Rates To has been added to SMS Rates Rate Compilation. It serves to select rates to be used based on the activity of destinations. Possible values include All destinations, all rates are selected Active destinations, inactive destinations When options 2 or 3 are selected, the Activity Threshold field appears that serves to indicate the threshold number of SMS for the destination. In this way, the user can offer its partners better rates for new destinations while keeping the active destinations as they are. For example, the client product contains the following rates for the following destinations. For the specified period, only one was active. The following rates will be updated if you chose the option Inactive Destinations, as you can see on the screen. The new parameter Invoice Detail Excel Password, not used if empty, has been added to Administration System Settings Common. When set, the MS Excel files with invoice details will be password protected and can be edited only when the password set in the field is provided. If the parameter is left empty, invoice detail files will remain editable. Now when creating a swap deal, the system will check the dates of adjacent deals when selecting the destination to prevent creation of two deals with overlapping periods for the same destination. Previously, it was impossible to select the same destination, even if the dates didn't overlap. The new parameter Test Client Products has been added to Administration System Settings SMS Test. It allows setting a comma-separated list of products. The traffic for these products will be considered as test traffic and can be filtered in SMS Analytics using the Traffic Type layer. The new parameter List of MCCs to be ignored during rate import has been added to the Add Edit panel of Reference Books contact companies. It serves to specify comma-separated MCCs that will be ignored during rate import, both automatic and regular. The rate can be still added using SMS Rates Rate Editor. Previously, the metric HLR MCC MNC in SMS Routing Routing Rules contained the MCC MNC taken from the reference book if the HLR provider returned no code or was not used at all. Now the metric contains the code only if it was returned by the HLR provider, otherwise it is empty. You can use the simulation log and find the following lines that can help you define which MCC MNC was returned. The sender field of SMS test system now supports the dot symbol. Similar to the SMS interface, you can now send rates to the client from the rate compilation interface. Once you choose the option, a new rate expert task will be created in the corresponding interface, as you can see on the screen. The following markers have been added to the limitation rule letter products, replaced by the carrier name, product type and direction, and period type, replaced by the period type, hour, day, week, month. Destination for both client and vendor can now be selected as the first layer for display in voice analytics. Before, it was possible only after you open the country layer first. It is now possible to disable the checkup of vendor products belonging to the same client. By default, the checkup is enabled, meaning that if the vendor product belongs to the client's carrier, it will be excluded from routing. When disabled, it is possible to route traffic from a client to a vendor belonging to the same carrier. To disable the feature, contact the Alaris technical support team and communicate the following code. The new filters, rate currency and rate value 
have been added to Voice Rates Rate Editor. They allow selecting the appropriate currency and price range to allow more precise filtering of rates. Along with blue and green ribbons that serve to distinguish between the tabs belonging to Alaris Invoice and Alaris SMS platform respectively, pop-up tips have been added that appear when pointing the cursor to the tab. The main page of Alaris Web Center now displays the credit available to the user. It is configured in the in-credit field of carriers agreements of the main system interface. The Clone button has been added to SMS, Reference Books, Billing Status Presets. It allows creating a copy of an existing preset. All statuses from the cloned preset will be copied to the new one. The new column Margin Percentage has been added to SMS Routing Simulation. It is calculated by the following formula. This column can be used for both filtering and sorting. The new permission show graphs has been added to the Partner Portal section of Carrier's users. When disabled, no charts are displayed on the dashboard page of Alaris Web Center. The logic of EDR export from the wholesale portal has been modified. Buffered EDRs are not exported. Also, only the EDRs of the last SMS sent attempt are exported. The new marker issue day has been added to the voice and SMS rate expert template, letter and rate file, that shows the issue date without indication of time. It is now possible to add a dial code when adding a rate with the help of the API method SMS rate. Previously, this could be done only through the interface. The template column has been added to the campaigns page. It displays the text of the template sent with this campaign. The user login name is now displayed in the bottom right area of the window, next to server time. The columns Disconnect Code and Disconnect Code Description have been added to CTRs and loaded from the wholesale portal. The new column Relative Markup has been added to Voice Analytics. It is calculated by the following formula. When a new country is added to SMS Reference Books Reference Book Editor, it automatically appears in the Country Region tab of Reference Books Regions. Color ID tags have been renamed to tags throughout the system. The corresponding fields in the SMS Routing Translation Rules and SMS Routing Routing Rules interfaces, including the user's permissions, were named too. The new REST API method SMS Changed Products has been added. It allows retrieving a list of products whose rates were changed within the specified period. The switch name parameter has been added to Voice Active Calls. It can also be used as a column or filter. The table header of input results in SMS Rates Rate Import or Voice Rates Rate Import now displays the name of the partner and product. The table is accessible by clicking on the weighting or view links of the tasks table in the status or details columns respectively. Well, these are all technical details that we plan to describe in this video. Hopefully it was useful to you. In case you have any questions regarding the new version and the features that were not described here, you are welcome to contact our support team. If you have any suggestions regarding the channel development, we will be happy to get them at the following email. See you in the next video!